Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Elvesia Bushcraft. Um, today I want to talk to you about um, a pet peeve of mine, something that really just sort of drives me up the wall when I see it, or, and, and I see it a lot in bushcraft um, articles or or I see people making videos or I see it in, on Instagram, these beautiful photographs of some guy or some girl. And it's mostly guys you see um, with these, their little small backpacks with uh, a wool blanket tied to the bottom of it that's not protected from, uh, from the elements. They got their cup hanging off of it, a lantern hanging off of their gloves, all this stuff hanging off their back of their backpack. And this is a bit of a, a pet peeve of mine because, you know, I look at this as that if, you know, if, if your backpack is too small to carry all this stuff in, maybe it's a good idea for you to get a bigger backpack. And, uh, and the biggest problem for me, and this is from a personal standpoint, is that you want to protect your sleeping gear the best you can. Um, and I see these guys and girls with uh, their, their, uh, their um, wool blankets uh, tied up to the back of their backpacks and it's completely exposed. To the elements. Now, sure, wool is going to shed off a certain amount of, uh, of humidity, this kind of stuff, and it will keep its warmth, but you got to warm it up yourself. It's not going to warm you, okay? It, it's an insulation. It holds on to the warmth, but the thing is that if it's wet and cold outside, and it's, and it's really cold, and you got a wet blanket, or how comfortable are you going to be? You're not going to be very comfortable. You know, I grew up without a sleeping bag um, uh, in, in Louisiana. Of course, it's pretty warm, but we did a lot of our camping, hunting, this kind of stuff in the wintertime, and we used primarily wool blankets that we got, old wool blankets from the Army. So I'm going to talk to you today about um, a pet peeve of mine, and that is these wool blankets, and I'm going to give you some pointers on how you can protect your sleeping gear if you don't have, if your budget's pretty light and you don't have a big enough backpack and, and you want to carry on the outside of it, then you can, okay, and you can waterproof it and carry it correctly. Another thing is that um, uh, you got to be careful carrying a lot of weight, especially a heavy wool blanket uh, in your backpack along with everything else you need because a lot of these small 30 liter rucksacks, which is what I use on a daily basis for day hikes and over, some overnight stuff, is that it's too, the suspension is too, uh, it's not really made to support the weight of, uh, of a lot of stuff, so a wool blanket. So it's better to get you a better suspension, uh, maybe. You know, if your 30 liter bag is too small, get you a 60 liter bag. That'll cover a lot of other things, even a lot of winter outings, this kind of stuff. And then you, you know, you start lightening up your, your gear little by little, but it has a better suspension system with a, with a waist strap and shoulder strap and chest strap that it'll help you to carry. Um, so there, we're gonna talk about, um, um, I'm gonna give you some pointers on how to uh, assemble your uh, wool blanket in a waterproof carrier. And um, it's an old school, very old school uh, idea concept. has been around a lot longer than any of us have. And a lot of people still use it, um, especially the long gun uh, hunters, this kind of stuff. But we're gonna get to it and uh, we're going to it right now. Okay, what I've assembled here is um, a few items that you can carry with this setup. Of course, I have my, my, uh, my ax, we'll put this aside. And I have a few other items that we're gonna use and the first thing we're going to start off with, here's my wool blanket. We're going to start off with, this is an oil skin cloth, okay? This is quite a big one. You can use this here as a shelter. You can use it as a ground cloth. You can use it for, for anything, actually. And this is quite a big one. I had, it, I had it made for me some years ago, so many years ago. And it's still very, very good, still very active in my life. And uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So first of all, we're going to lay it out in the appropriate size that we need. And this thing is quite big, so I don't really need to, to open it up completely. It's double this size, actually. And what I have done is I have actually used this as like a sleeping bag cover where I've gotten inside of it and just, you know, just got my sleeping bag inside of it. Not my sleeping bag, but my blankets inside of it and slept like this right here in some wet weather or cold weather, this kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going lay like, lay to like, lay it out like this right here. Then I'm going to take my blanket. It's going to be a Swiss Army blanket. I'm going to fold it in half long ways. And I'm going to lay it in the middle. Like you see here. Make sure it's all laid out and flat. Now, at this moment here, you can actually put other items in here. You can put extra clothes in here. You can put uh, um, anything you want to keep dry, okay? You can put it inside of there. We're going to go with just the sleeping blanket right now. And then what I do then is I fold in this, I fold the ins, the outsides in. Okay. Now you can also lay this thing completely out and do this, and it'll be even more water resistant. But anyway, this right here will work fine. 
I fold in like this right here. And then what I'll do is I'll fold the end a little, I'll fold this in. This is gonna be the inside anyway. And then I can start rolling it, okay? And what I usually do is roll it to about halfway. Making sure I don't have too much dirt and debris inside there with me. And once I get it gotten to about halfway, I have this right here, which is just like a shoulder harness. I think it's called a, a, a trump line, actually, or, or it's got a weird name, but I can't remember exactly what it is, but this is what it is. And this is basically, this is leather. You can use anything, you know, but this is a, a piece of leather here to support on the shoulders with leather strapping or thongs. I tie them together and I just sort of slide it inside of it like this, okay? And I try to get it to where it's, it's pretty even right here. And then I continue rolling. And then I, what I do is I normally go to the other side and I fold this in, in a little bit and then I'll fold it in about to it like this so that I have a little bit more protection there. And then I'll go ahead and keep rolling up and I have it rolled up in this format here. Once I've got this down, then I'll get my, and you can use anything, parachute cord, hemp, any kind of cord you want to, leather straps, leather strumps. I use, I'm using uh, just these leather straps right here. These are former, this is a Swiss Army or something like that. And you can actually make this even bigger, but I, I just use these right here. And I go about a third in. I get in there and I don't, I don't tighten it up completely because I want to add something to it, like my ax here. So I can carry it. You can carry other tools this way also. Okay, so I'll just give it, give it to about this right here. Okay, then I'll take my ax. I'll slide it in like what you see here. Okay, and then I can tighten this up really tight, as tight as I need to. Get it in. The same over here. As tight as I need to tighten it. And there we go. Okay, now this will keep it completely dry. This oil skin, and you can use anything, not just oil skin. You can use a poncho, you can use another tarp, piece of plastic, and you can do the same thing with not just a wool blanket. You can do it with anything. You can do it with your sleeping bag. Just lay your sleeping bag out pretty flat, fold it in, do the exact same procedure, and you can carry it over your shoulder. You can carry it on your backpack. You can make it even not so wide you can make it a little bit it's going to be a larger but you can make it a little bit now this thing is not light by the way it's pretty heavy especially with the axe on it but uh you know it's because of the material but didn't you when you get to your camp you just take it all out take it apart and you can uh set up a shelter with the with the tarp or with your poncho or you can make yourself a little insert for like a sleeping bag cover and you can get inside it with your wool blanket you can carry several wool blankets in this right here you can put a uh, a jacket in there you can do what you want to you can carry your a lot of things in there it's going to be a little bit bulkier and what you do is when you tie it you tie off your straps you tie them a little bit more to the outside so it gives more room on the inside but this right here is what i would suggest uh, you do with your wool blanket stop carrying your wool blanket exposed to the world to the elements or your sleeping bag you know try to protect them because just a little pointer i was in uh yakima washington one time back in the army days and we got, um, we were playing a little war game, but we got this little, uh, we got a chance to sleep inside of a tent and it had a pot belly stove in it. And the pot belly stoves, they, uh, they ran off of a JP8 and diesel fuel, a mix, because diesel fuel burnt dirty and, didn't, and it took, and it didn't, wasn't warm enough really to heat up. The JP8 by itself was jet fuel. It burns too fast, so you have to mix, we would mix them up. Anyway, so I'm like, in my sleeping bag, which I had, which is not very often, and these old terrible army down sleeping bags that we had, and the JP8 fuel leaked on my sleeping bag, on my feet. 
and uh, I was uh, almost almost had uh, frostbite because of it because it really went through the bag. Got my feet my feet were cold all night, and so uh, it's important to protect your bag. If I'd had something to protect it, at least the fuel wouldn't have gotten into uh, into my bag. I'd have been a little bit warmer, but they may have damaged the outside of it. But at least I'd been warm, you know. But um, Anyway, take care. You want to have a good night's sleep when you go out in the, in the forest. You can even put a, um, your uh, sleeping mat inside this, this also. You can lay it inside of it, put your blankets or your sleeping bag, roll it up the same way. Like I said, it's going to be a little more volume, but you can walk or we can basically go camping and go, and go outing with just this. You know, you can basically set up a system where you get everything inside of it and uh, you can basically live off this right here for the whole outing. But anyway, I want to thank you for coming back to our video. Please uh, leave comments, like and share, and, uh, and keep coming back to our channel. We really appreciate it. I want to thank you and hope you guys have a great weekend, a great week, and uh, some great outings, especially right now in this beautiful autumn uh, scenery we have. Take care.